Hi, I'm Bella Rodriguez. And I'm Ashley Silva. Get ready, STN. Because this special edition of WB in the AM starts now. Coming up on today's show, we'll see stories about an artist using her talent for her own individual expression while helping to aid the local community. A breakfast cafe offering a homely area for customers to enjoy a delicious breakfast with pleasant conversation. And a college student who has learned to navigate both school and a part-time job while utilizing her place of work to aid in the message she aims to share. Today is March 16th, 2023. As we find ourselves in the center of Long Beach, California, the feeling of opportunity and excitement fills the air. I stand here in anticipation of competing within the realm of TV production because that is what I find best expresses my interests, emotions, and overall stories that I and others wish to tell. Just like we have found our own unique medium, so has Lisa Diaz. Being an artist has given her a world of creativity to express herself and share her message, connecting to her local community at the same time. Let's hand it over to Victoria to learn some more. Artists like Lisa Diaz in Long Beach, California, are all eager to get their work displayed in the local art store called Made by Millworks, which is surely the talk of the town. I've been familiar with this uh, shop for over seven years and it was something that I wanted my product to get into but I also enjoyed coming in and like checking out all the other local artists and stuff and see what was around and um, yeah and the opportunity kind of allowed myself to come in a couple days a week and have my product in here and still be able to be a small business crafter. Lisa's main goal is to get her work out there while helping others to make a name for themselves as well. Struggle, I think, for myself personally was trying to balance, you know, being here and supporting everyone else, but still maintaining my own, you know, like hustle. <laughs> Lisa Diaz found great success after selling her products at Made. She feels that it is important for people to express themselves through any medium. And Lisa's is art. You know, don't be afraid to like really like step up for what you believe in and if it's kind of compromising and finding like a medium ground where you're working with people and you're not letting people down but more importantly you're not letting yourself down so that was like really learning to have a voice for myself and you know and I think people that appreciate what you do are going to support that. For WB in the AM this has been Victoria White reporting. Part of appreciating Long Beach is taking in all that it has to offer. And that starts with the many unique places that make up this bustling town. Aris Bistro is a nearby breakfast shop serving as a restful place to enjoy a hot cup of coffee and the several homemade recipes that they offer. The cafe serves as one of many of the Long Beach staples, for it's what allows residents to come together for a quiet and peaceful morning. Owning the reputation as a finalist for Roasters of the Year, it's safe to say this place won't disappoint. Let's head on over to Sofia to hear further. In the heart of Long Beach, California, lies a small, charming gem known as Arai's Bistro. Its steaming hot roasts and fusions between Japanese and American cuisine bring customers a unique, flavorful experience. So I have a Japanese restaurant, that one in Long Beach, and this one is a, some kind of new concept for me. So yeah, this one is a breakfast, American breakfast, in filled with an Asian fusion. Yeah, that's how it's done. The Bistro's dishes aren't the only attribute which attracts customers. But Pat's charismatic character allows customers to feel at home. Uh, I feel on my customer service is good because I, I, I take care of them like my family, so like a friend actually. Communication is a key factor to running any successful business. A Rise Bistro maintains a sense of home and comfort that any customer can truly appreciate. My experience here has it's been amazing, honestly. I remember coming here with my mom when it first opened, and the service was always so friendly, and the food was always really good. It's been, a, you know, it's been kind of a family tradition now to come here again and again. Having a meal may seem like a simple thing to some, but a rice bistro makes it more than just a quick bite, turning it into an experience one will enjoy and continue to remember. 
For WB in the AM, this has been Sophia Chung reporting. Being able to share one's story in aiding the spread of a powerful message is essential. Alyssa Bishop, a college student, currently utilizes her job at a nearby juicery to help strengthen her cause in protecting the Pavanga tribe, whose land is currently being commercialized. Working to educate others on the importance of joining and supporting her message, Alyssa has continued to make use of all the outlets in order to gain traction for such a vital, fearless fight. Claudio can share more of the story. Juices are made from various types of fruits, different in size, color, and shape. And the Rainbow Juices customers and staff also contain this unique blend. This accepting nature is one of the reasons why their establishment is so popular and why Caltech College student Alyssa Bishop chose to work here. So yeah, I think Rainbow Juices represents acceptance because we really make an effort to make sure we're sourcing stuff in a way that is sustainable for our community. So we uplift the farmers from the farmers markets and we bring their produce into the shop. And that's a really important step with just kind of uplifting community. Just how Rainbow Juice's mission is to be accepting for all, Alyssa is on a mission of her own. To not only accept others, but help be the voice for the voiceless. Yeah, so part of why I love being in Long Beach and I feel really connected to living out here and I feel really thankful to be able to work here is that we are very close to Kuvunga, which is sacred lands to the Hashiman and Tongva peoples. There are ceremonies that still take place to this day and there's also still struggles that are still going on to this day, so. Whether it's making juices or making change, Alyssa is the type of person to do so with a smile on her face. For WB in the AM, this has been Claudio Chavez reporting. It's amazing to see how much there is to a town. For it's not so much the place itself, but rather the people and their stories that make it up. Well, that's all we have for you today. For WB in the AM, this has been Bella. And Ashley. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.